this is photo electrochemical HSL so the typical volume of each chamber is 100 ml so this is 100 ml this is 100 ml so we have the quartz window of 20 mm diameter for the light input this is the membrane holding assembly with the exposed area of 16 mm diameter okay. so electrodes can be positioned from the side view we have the silicon with the hole we can position here or here as per your convenience and perjured also can be positioned here similarly we have one more perjured for this compartment the same way the electrodes can be positioned here in case you want to use the electrode on the top side please remove the dummy fix this and plug in the electrode in whichever the port you need so other ports are covered with the dummy so, so finally it's a airtight so electrodes can be positioned on the top or sideways Now we are going to fix the membrane. So this is a typical membrane assembly. Just do the hand hand loose. Okay. Remove the nuts. So this is the membrane positioning. We have one gasket here. Keep the membrane here and keep another gasket so the membrane stays between two gaskets then fix it back Just fix the nuts and finally we can align the membrane properly. Okay, before final tight, just align the membrane position. And tighten it. Just to form tight is sufficient. Since silicon gasket is involved, it's a purely lictite. Then position the electrodes. So this is the photo compartment. So anode or working electrode will be placed in this compartment along with the reference electrode. So this is the isolated chamber for the counter electrode. So counter may be a platinum coil or platinum mesh or whatever it is. Okay. So for cleaning, open the membrane, remove it, you can wash out everything. Okay. And the quartz window can be washed anytime. It can be detached, washed. This is a typical quartz window. So this is called PEC H cell. Thank you.